What's going on everybody? It's Josh with Project Torture. I got a six blueprinting tutorial for you today. We're gonna do all kind of blueprints. I'm just playing just one. It's it's gonna be it's gonna be an elevator. It's gonna be one elevator. It's going to go up though. It's gonna go up. We're gonna make it to where when you step on it, it's gonna go up to the second floor. We'll start down here. It's gonna go up here like this. It's gonna be real simple. Just keeping it simple, but hey, it's pretty cool. Check it out. Right click, blueprint class, actor, and we'll name it elevator because uh that's uh that's what it is. So we're we're gonna double click on it and get started. We ain't scared. We got a uh, root component. We're gonna need that. Add a component. Go down to scene and we'll call it root. So there we go. That's done. No problem. So let's add our component that we need. The first one is gonna be a static mesh. I'm not worried about naming it, but while it's selected, go to the details panel and we can create or we can add a static mesh to this static mesh component. I'm gonna type in the word cube and I'm gonna turn this cube into whatever I want it to be. I'm gonna scale it up to three and since this is locked it'll scale up all three axes so it's a little bigger. Press space bar after it's selected to actually click the scale tool. I'm gonna scale the top down the Z on the negative axis to bring it down like this huh? You like that? We got a little flat floor looking thing. I'm not worried about the floor. We're not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this thing into the world and show you how we can figure out exactly how high it needs to go. I'm gonna set it right here. Just That's fine. I'm not worried about you know perfect locations but then we got a little floor there and, and we're wondering how high does it need to go? Well, if we go up here, we can we can move it, and it's clicked. If this is hold, held in, it's clicked, and, or it's it's uh it's like uh it's grid it's like grid based. It's locked to certain points. It's locked to 50 units. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna crank it up to 500. Now watch, there's 500, and there's 500. Well, that's about a thousand units, and you know what? For now, that's gonna be fine. That's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna set it back to 50. So I know I need to go a thousand units positive up on the Z axis. That's right. So let's get started. Now, before we do anything else, we do need to create one more component, a box collision. Mm -hmm. We're gonna set that up because we're gonna make it to where when we cross over that box collision as the player, it is going to move that elevator. So let's size it up like that and let's size it down like that. And just once we get into that little plane there, it's gonna do what we tell it to do. We're gonna go into the details and set the collision of this thing to ignore everything everything but the pawn because we're a pawn and all we want it to overlap us so overlap the pawn and then we'll scroll on down and say on component begin overlap that'll be our event oh yeah there it is we got our event eh, before though before though drag a wire from here actually do not right click right below this event begin play and type in get actor wait wait wait, wait. get actor location there it is and let's promote that to a variable because we're going to need that location and it can't be changing if we're using it on timeline it needs to be a specific location so we'll store that it's the initial location so i'm going to name it il capital il there's our there's our variable we'll use it later okay on component begin overlap when that thing is overlapped by what the player by dragging a line out from other actor we can make sure it's what we say it is now i'm using the first person character as my player so i'm going to cast two first person character now if you're using a different character cast to that character if not cast to whatever character you want but anyway here we go um first things first if it is this player that overlaps it we have got to destroy this trigger box so i'm gonna drag it in and the reason is is we don't want to accidentally overlap it again because this is just going to be a one-time elevator it's going to go up and then it's going to be done and that's all and, and and that's all so uh there it is the box is gone we don't have to worry about that after it starts we need a timeline though you need to right click and just scroll down to add a timeline. There it is. We'll, we'll drag this to play from start because we are not scared. We need a vector track. That vector track is going to be oh, two seconds long. We're going to lock the X and the Y because we're not worried about it. We only need to worry about the Z. So let's shift and click on the Z. At zero time, it'll be zero value. And then at two seconds, which is the end of our timeline, it's going to be what? 1,000 units up. If I'm correct, if I'm correct, that's what we decided. That's what we uh, what we figured out. The hypothesis of sorts there. Whatever. We're gonna keep going. Uh, uh, cut that. There's it. We got our vector track now, so we can drag a line from that and type in vector. And then the plus sign and get the plus vector. And we can go back to our blueprints and we created this little IL variable. Now you could you're thinking why can't I just plug in get actor location in right here? Well, I'm gonna tell you right now is because get actor location is always changing and you only want its initial location. Drag a R from update and type in set actor location if you can find it oh i found it i'm not scared i'm gonna drag this in right here so basically now we've got our variable we created at the beginning of the game and then once you overlap that trigger box it is going to take that variable and then add this to it and then make that the new location and then you cannot trigger it again because the box will be destroyed that's what i'm talking about so let's go ahead and jump in f11 and alt p i'm all walking around i got this floor it's pretty sweet some rocks now we're gonna walk over here i'm gonna jump onto this elevator and see if it works up, we're going up, we're going up, 
and we are up there and we're up on our second floor now it's pretty sweet we're gonna try it again f11 alt p i can just walk straight onto the thing right here and just walk straight onto it like this and bam it's gonna take me up as soon as i cross that trigger box it tells me what to do so there you go guys thank y'all for watching i appreciate it um just a small tutorial just, just another uh, simple blueprinting tutorial I'll show you guys what you can do this is definitely a platforming based kind of uh, tutorial but hey hope you learned a little bit i know i didn't um uh, you guys please subscribe to the youtube page and like the facebook page as well if you don't mind and uh i'll be back in a few days with another tutorial if you guys have any questions feel free to get a hold of me personally i'm definitely accepting any type of ideas i love to do tutorials on stuff that you guys need to learn so definitely just hit me up but hey thanks for watching again i'll see you guys soon have a great weekend bye